Hey, hey, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Was Trained by Hidon, part, uh, six, but yeah, this is part six of this What If, and yeah, uh, part seven will probably be whenever, but other than that, um, no recaps, because I have uploaded this What If, like, two days ago, so yeah, or is it two days, or three, uh, I don't remember, but not the point, let me begin into this What If, and let me shut the fuck up, but yeah. Of course, yesterday I uploaded, well, both What If Naruto, were, well, had a lightsaber, and What If Naruto, or not What If Naruto, What If Majin, or Junpei, and Yuichi were the reincarnation of Majin, and, well, Mon Den, or whatever. But, yeah, Mon Den, or whatever. You get the point. So, you're probably wondering, why am I uploading Yuji What If or Naruto What If when I said I was going to probably pause on those. Uh, it's because, well, I finally read through all the manga of, well, Jujutsu Kaisen until well, newer ones come out, but yeah. But I want to just say one thing. I, um, the only reason I'm doing this is because, well, I get bored in doing one what if all the damn time. If I just keep doing, like, what ifs on one character, I'm going to get bored out of my mind, but yeah. But not the point. Let me begin this is what if, and let me shut the fuck up, but yeah. So, let me begin so we go into naruto luna white and even joshin this word josh uh or well not joshin hiran hiran kind of left because he can't really go to the underworld without having a permission from joshin but of course we go into well uh white um naruto luna and even sylvan sitting down the table and seeing joshin now sylvan is of course by himself far away from well both of White and uh, Naruto and Luna. This is where Luna is right now sitting next to Naruto. And White is sitting down kind of a little bit further away from Naruto. Well, not that far. Only like one chair apart, but yeah. But of course, Silver is the only one that sits a little bit away from all of them. But yeah, even Joshin. <sighs> this is where Joshin say, So, you must be Luna Nightstar. What an interesting name you have. This is where Luna say, uh, thank, thank you, uh, Joshin, sir. It's a word. Well, Joshin says, you don't need to be so, um, manner, uh, well, how should I say, very, hmm, you don't need to show that many manners. I am Joshin, and I'm happy to let you be here anytime you want to be. It's a word. Well, Luna Swan says, like, really? This is where Joshin says, yeah, of course. This is where, well, Shilman already has already an idea that this motherfucker has an alternate motive, but yeah. And this is what, well, uh, Luna says, thank, thank you. This is what, well, Joshin says, just one little kind of suggestions, or not suggestion, oh, uh, one little, uh, how should I say? He says, one little contract. This is where Luna says, yeah, anything. I'll be fine. This is what, well, this is where Joshin smiles in evilish grin and says, I want you to marry my son, Naruto. This where, well, Luna's face becomes a very brightish and purplish blue color, while Naruto's face also becomes kind of reddish and say, what? This is where, well, uh, Sylvan says, oh, I knew this shit was going to happen. This is where L Luna says, uh, uh, um, 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 she's right now unable to speak that much. And this is where, well, white, Whatever that fucking spam risk was, but I'm not gonna answer. But not the point. Um, let me go into this what if. But of course, it what? Well, ah, uh, but if, wait, wrong one. But of course, it's what? Well, Luna's face is just complete red, uh, bluish, of course. And of course, she's also kind of blushing purple and bluish. But yeah, of course, it's what Naruto is unable to speak. Also, but before, well, Luna was able to say something. Is it what? Well. Sylvan stands up and says, God damn it, you're such a fucking pervert. It's where, well, White wasn't going to say anything. He was just actually giggling also, like a madman and all that. But he didn't notice that White just stand up. He says, this is where, well, Sylvan says, you bastard. She's only a child. She's only 12, just like Naruto. They don't know anything about marriage. Why would you actually even decide to think of... This is where, well, someone says, why will you even ask him, uh, ask her for marriage? This is where, huh? 
Uh, Justin says, it's only a joke, Sylvan. You don't really gotta take it serious. Ugh. I hate for the fact that you're trying to force him to marriage. In such a young age. This is what, hmm? <sighs> Justin says, you two can, uh, you all can leave. Sylvan, I'll talk to you. This is what, hmm? Both Sylvan and Joshi are talking. This is where, well, White decides to go off towards his room, but yeah. But before kind of like going off, he kind of goes somewhere else to kind of talk to someone, but yeah. And this is where, well, both Luna and Naruto are kind of in Naruto's room. Now, of course, Naruto's room did is, well, it's pretty big. It's actually really big and all that. It's not that small. It can, it can become big and sometimes when you imagine, but yeah. But of course, this is where, well, he imagined it to have another bed, and this time just kind of have similar colors of Luna and all that. And this is where Luna is like, thank you, Naruto. This is where Naruto is like, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Sorry about uh, Joshin-sama. I don't know why he said that. This is where, well, Luna says, no, it's fine. <laughs> this is where, well, Naruto says, maybe tomorrow you can go visit my friends. Hmm? This is where, well, Luna says, I would like that. But yeah. Of course, we go into, well, Joshin and Silver and kind of arguing. This is where Silver says that it's bad enough to even try to force marriage a child like Naruto, who's 12 years old. And of course, isn't actually knowing much about love that much. This is where, well, uh, Joshin says, and that's why he should really start uh, young. He will get more experience. Silver says, no, it's stupid enough. This is where, well, Sylvan was actually forced marriage when he was actually 16 and all that. He was adopted kind of when he was older. But of course, where, well, when he was adopted to be, when he was 16 and all that, uh, he was kind of forced marriage by Josh, but this is where Sylvan managed to kind of always get out of those forced marriages because he didn't want to deal with those shit. But yeah, of course, where, well, <sighs> Josh didn't say, fine, I'll let the kid relax a little bit more. But what happened if they really do get far in love together? Both Luna and Naruto. Will you stop their kind of love from kind of being together? Silver says, no, that would just be true love. And of course, I want to stop that. I'll stop any kind of stupid emotional marriage bullshit you're trying to force Naruto upon. It's where, well, someone has actually became a little bit more overprotective of his, like, little brother. Well, a little adopted, uh, adopt, yeah, adopted brother and all that, Naruto. Because you can see Naruto is sometimes too unstable with his emotions. And, of course, he, from the information he got from Hiran, one time he asked, <coughs> was that Naruto was abused ever since he was a child. Meaning that since he was ever born, like, becoming four years old, all the way to becoming at least like nine years old and meeting Hiram, he was abused for like five straight years from the villagers. So he knows uh, what pain and suffering Naruto has caused. And forced marriages are not something that should be forced upon Naruto. So of course, Silver's a little bit more protective of Naruto. From he, uh, well, from Joshin and from White, he knows White. What kind of follow? Was it called Joshin's steps? So yeah. Of course, we work. well, we go into white talking to a girl with kind of like this kind of grayish whitish hair. One eye is yellow and of course the other eye is kind of black and all that. And of course she's like smiling. She does kind of have, well, kind of like these uh, clothes are kind of like a principal and all that. And kind of has a crown and all that. <laughs> she's right now just talking to, well, white and of course this is white. Well, white says, so, no name. Uh, what's it gone? <clears throat> what are you doing today out here? This is where no name says, hmm? Or you can, well, she goes from two names, no name and zero. But of course, it works well. <sighs> uh, she says, hmm? Oh, nothing. Why that, White? Are you interested in what I'm doing today? Also, how's your little brother, Naruto? I haven't actually seen him in a while. This is where, well, uh, White says, he's Fine, he found some kind of girl that was trapped in some dementia or something. This is where no name says, really? <gasps> Did they fall in love at first sight? This is where, well, oh, oh, why says, I have no clue. 
they are kind of like blushing all the time. And Joshing did kind of make that one joke. But of course, Silver was angry about it. And of course, kind of made a statement and all that. I said, wait, well, uh, no, 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 wait, did you also decide to follow along and try to tease him along? This is where, well, White says, yeah. this is where before he even says, yeah, he almost gets his head cut off by her sword. And this is where, well, White says, whoa, 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 whoa. No, then why are you so angry? You bastard. He's a child. You're not supposed to kind of force marriage upon children. This is where, well, White says, well, I didn't say anything. But you teased him. And they're still young. I'm going to kill you. This is what, well, her sword is right now, well, she had a, like, knife, but then it changed to a black sword. And this is what, well, she says, I will murder you, White. This is where White says, uh, uh, well, I gotta go now. This is where White has to run, and, of course, he's dodging multiple swing swords and having to dodge and even clash with what was it called No Name Sword, but yeah. Now, of course, her name is No Name Slash, or you can say Zero, because, well... If you want to know who No Name is, I'm just taking a character from Hardcore and Lovelin Warrior. And if you don't know who she is, let me show you. This is what No Name looks like. But of course, this is what she's wearing right now and fighting against, well, White. White is actually having to dodge a little bit, but yeah. But of course, she is trying to murder White now. This is what, well, White is having to dodge and say, shit, shit, oh shit. He almost gets his head cut off and says, calm down, wait, no name, calm down. This is where he he had to dodge again. And of course, where no name says, get over here, White. I'm going to murder you. This is where, well, both White and, well, um, well, mostly White is right now scared of no name, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into Naruto just talking to Luna the next day. Of course, the where, well, yes, Naruto went to sleep and Luna did go to sleep on their own bed. And of course, Joshin did try to sneak in, but before even sneaking in, there was metal like lines right now appearing right in front of Naruto's door, like an X mark, and of course, kind of appearing like, well, looking like a kind of like cell bars and all that, stopping Joshin from going in. He sighs and then sees Silva not just doing that. This is where, well, Joshin says, You're really overprotective of him. I see. This is where, well, <clears throat> Silva says, it's stupid enough for you're going after him. Let them just be. They're sleeping right now. This is where, well, Naruto's eyes, like, move once. And, of course, trying to, well, wake up. And this is where, well, because he's hearing noise and all that. And this is where, well, Silver kind of just move, remove the bars of, like, uh, metal and all that. And, uh, well, in the front of the door of uh, Naruto. Of course, the door was open. But, of course, like, light was going in. Of course, this is where Silver did kind of use his, some of the silver metal to kind of grab the door handle, pull it shut, and then put the super metal uh, dust in front of, well, was a car, joshing, joshing, say, fine, fine, I'll just go. This is where, well, Sylvan kind of just like, stay next to Naruto's door just in case, well, joshing tried to do any of that stupid shit again. <laughs> but this is where, well, the next day happens, and of course, Naruto visits some of, well, the others, the other clan head kids, or mostly, yeah, the other heirs from the 12 Forbidden Clans. And so, well, he kind of meets Junko, and of course, Junko kind of says, who's she? This is what, well, uh, Naruto says, this is, uh, Luna. Luna, this is, uh, Junko. This is where, well, they kind of just say hi to each other, but of course, somewhat glare at each other. This is where, well, Naruto says, ah! And this is what's a car. This is where he points at a guy with the Chester hat and all that. And right now, kind of like throwing knives up around, just juggling it. This is where Naruto says, and this is Joker. This is where Joker says, yo. <laughs> Wanna play a game with me? This is where he pulls out cards. And this is where, well, Naruto says, well, that's him. This is where, oh, Joker says, hey, Mike, I wanna show a trick. This is where Naruto says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, this is where, well, Naruto. He noticed a, well, the red kind of blood tree, like a blood tree and all that. And of course, someone's sitting next to it. Now, of course, this blood tree is big, but of course, the person next to it is kind of bigger than it. Well, a little bit. Of course, we're well, not bigger than it. It's almost the same height, well, a little bit smaller. But of course, it worked well. Naruto says, this is Berserker. Berserker doesn't have much intelligence, so of course. Uh, but he's pretty nice. This is where, well, Berserker looks down with his kind of reddish eyes. And looks down at Luna. And Luna says, uh, hi. This is where, well, 
uh, Berserker kind of just waves off, but then just looks back up and kind of closes his eyes and going back to sleep. Naruto says, yeah, he doesn't really talk much. It's a white Naruto then goes off with the others, and of course, this is where one guy kind of has like these claws, metal claws, and right now fighting against someone that pissed him off. Now, one is named Kruger, or yeah, Kru, uh, Kruger, Kru, you know what I'm gonna call it, Kruger, uh, yeah, Kruger, and of course, the other one who's right now fighting is Kruger, is this guy who kind of, well, this guy has, well, the person that Kruger is fighting against is this guy who's kind of like a little bit ripped and all that, but of course has metal spikes hair, like, to be hair and all that, and of course it's pretty damn long, it's like radish, uh, well, radish from what's it called, Dragon Ball Z, uh, hairstyle, but yeah, of course this is where his eyes are kind of like this, kind of like, uh, still color, and of course this is where, well, he also, uh, how should I mention, he also has like these still spikes, like, uh, kind of protruding from his like arms and all that, and even legs. And of course, he is right now just his name is called his name is Katachi. And of course, this is where well, he's arguing with well, Kruger. Kruger is right now, he has these sharp teeth, and of course, they're kind of metallic a little bit. And of course, where he kind of looks like a kind of like a mix of a wolf and mix of like a kind of like a lion a little bit, but yeah. This is what, well, not a lion, mostly like a mountain lion. Of course, he got these, like, slick, kind of greenish eyes. This is what, well, he's arguing with what's called Ken, uh, Kentachi. Of course, this is what, well, no, I should say, this is Kruger, the guy with kind of, like, greenish eyes, and the guy with still eyes is named Kentachi. This is where both of them kind of stopped kind of arguing with each other. After Naruto and, well, what's it called, Luna left. And, of course, began to argue with each other again. They're about to start punching and all that, throwing hands. Because they don't really like each other. It's because the fact that they're kind of similar a little bit. But yeah. Of course, Naruto then explains that he also met this other person. That kind of, well, is able to go into darkness. His name is Void Yami. And of course, the word, well, Void Yami met uh, Luna and even Naruto. And of course, he did kind of bow down towards, well, Luna and even Naruto. And said that, hello there, Naruto-san. This is the word, well. He then also disappear into darkness by just vanishing, but yeah. It's what, well, Luna was saying, that's interesting. <laughs> These are a lot of people interesting. Naruto say, yeah, they are interesting. Some of them are also scary, but you will get used to them. It's what, well, Luna says, I guess so. Huh. She smiles with this gentle smile and Naruto's face is nothing but just complete red. Just like, uh, he's just embarrassed half the time, but yeah. He never actually met anyone who's actually kind of, well, cute to be direct. And of course, just amazing and all that. And powerful. But of course, he is right now blushing. This is where, well, Luna says, so where do we go next? That's where Naruto goes to talk to the other Forbidden Clan kids. And some of the other Forbidden Clan kids are kind of, well, one is able to use kind of this kind of like fiery color. Mostly a blue fire and all that. And of course, well, his name is Enma. And of course, this is where another kid is able to kind of use with the cop. One of them can actually use dirt, like earth style, but it's actually a dark type of uh, color. But yeah, it's called uh, dark earth. But yeah, of course, this is where, well, uh, some of them can, well, another person can use like poison and venom creatures. But yeah, of course, this is where another one is able to use a very powerful ice. And it's just called Sub Zero, and of course she does meet what's it called Luna and Naruto for like the first time because Naruto then visit out to kind of visit the other clan kids because he only met what's it called like six kids in total. Of course, the other six that he's now meeting is the other twelve forbidden clans. Now there's supposed to be twelve, so of course he is counted to be the kind of well six. But yeah, of course the other clan kids met each other. But yeah, this is where well. After Naruto kind of meeting all those, he says, So, what do you think about the 12 Forbidden Clans? Is it well, Luna says, It's okay, I guess. Is it well, Naruto says, Good. Um, so where do you want to go now? Is it well, Luna says, I guess. Hmm. Is there a training ground somewhere? Naruto says, Yeah, kind of, not really, but you can use the kind of blood trees to kind of train on. 
She says, oh, cool. I'll be doing that. That's right, Naruto says, okay. Naruto actually goes to his, uh, well, kingdom first. We'll see the uh, Joshin kingdom first. And, of course, Luna goes to kind of train. Now, Luna is training, of course, to where, well, she's actually using star style, star uh, cuts to where she's just cutting a lot of things. Until she kind of senses someone, and it wasn't Naruto. She turns around, and what she sees is, well, this girl with kind of blondish hair. Kind of like these orangey reddish uh, eyes. And, of course, she has wings. Well, somewhat wings. They look to be kind of demonic, but at the same time, like, fallen angel style. But, yeah. This is where, well, this person says, oh, hello there, night star. This is where, well, Luna says, I'm guessing you're a morning star. What do you want? That's where well the morning sm- uh, or just smiles and says, "I'm happy to know that you actually know about well, us existing. You know, we knew about your mother also." That's where Luna in her eyes and this where well Luna says, "Okay, then what do you want?" That's where well they say to come with them or mostly her, mostly the person who's asking. That's where well Night Star says, "I need to go somewhere." Oh, don't worry about the 12 Forbidden Clans. They aren't nothing to worry about that much. Besides, the other kind of about, um... This is where the girl says, The other 13 Noble Clans will kind of suit you much better, don't you think? Nightstar. This is where, well... Night, uh, Luna just says, No, I'm fine. This is where, well, Morningstar says, Whenever you change your mind, but you see here... The Forbidden Clans, the reason why they're called Forbidden and not Novelty and Royalty mostly, is because of their unstable emotions. They're really way too much unstable. And if you stay any longer, you probably will get hurt, Nightstar. That's the word, well, she says, no, I'm fine. That's the word, well, the person says, fine, fine, I'll let you go. This word, well, before even what's called the Morningstar be able to leave, a lightning jab almost stabs her. This is where she just like, what the fuck? This is where Naruto appears saying, Luna, are you okay? Luna say, uh, Naruto. This is where, well, the person who is actually named Morningstar, mostly the last name, the first name is unknown, but of course, this is where, well, she says, interesting. So, your emotions aren't that stable, but at the same time, it's not. It's unstable, but at the same time, not that stable. Interesting. You look like the only person to not be too insane from the other clans. Naruto says, who the hell are you and what are you talking about other clans? Are you talking about the Forbidden Clans? Yep. You must be Naruto. Naruto Joshin. The newest adopted child into the Joshin clan. Didn't expect him to actually adopt another one. And someone with such a powerful lightning. Interesting. Well, you two can come actually to the uh, noble clans. Don't you think that would be good? Naruto looks confusing and Luna also looks completely, uh, well, confusedly. Because, well, she doesn't know between the problem between the, well, forbidden and the noble clans. It's similar, well, neither does Naruto. Naruto doesn't know about the noble or forbidden clan problem, but yeah. It's similar, well, Naruto says no thanks. It's similar, well, the Morningstar says, I wasn't asking. Now get them. This is where these demonic uh, creatures appear very big and all that. And Naruto, he just makes a lightning scythe and cuts them down. And this is where, well, he then looks towards the side of him and sees Luna being in trouble. She's not using her star, well, abilities and all that. And this is where, well, the morning star says, you know, you should stop fighting it. You two are just going to be captured to be seen. But yeah, this is where Naruto says, screw you. Lightning style. Lightning erasement. This is where Naruto slashes the air around him and destroying the whole, just the whole air and the, just destroying everything, discharging it. But yeah, of course, it worked. Well, Naruto then runs towards the car. Well, this morning star, and this worked before. Well, the morning star was able to kind of move out of the way and wind her eyes. This is what, well, she said, damn it. This is what, well, before Naruto was about to punch away a light, a black lightning punch. This is where, well, the punch gets blocked, like grabbed, by a guy with kind of long, well, not long, long hair, mostly goldenish blonde hair. He's like 
eyes that are like amber color. And of course, looking at Naruto for the first time. But yeah. But of course, it's where, well, Naruto is just like confused. And of course, this person just blocks the punch and of course grabs Naruto's hand and then pull up Naruto. Now, of course, kind of close to him. That's where Naruto kind of got this uneasy feeling. He kind of gets this uneasy feeling when what's it called? Sobin and Joshin are kind of fighting. This is where, well, Naruto for some reason has this kind of urge to try to escape this person. And try to warn Joshin. This is where, well, the girl was right now scared and of course just shocked that she would have easily been obliterated by Naruto. This is where, well... This person, this goldenish blonde hair, and has these wings that are kind of dark, but at the same time light, says, <sighs> This is where, oh, he says, Lucy, go back to the kingdom. This is where Lucy says, but, dad, dad, don't, this is where, well, Lucifer says, don't do what? This is where, well, Lucy says, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I was about to fall, uh, fail you. That's where Lucifer says, you weren't going to fail me. It's just this kid is strong for being one of the youngest children of the Joshiness. It's where uh, Naruto's trying to let go of his arm, but of course can't. And sees Luna is right now captured by these like, giant, well, stone golems. Because they were stone golems. But demonic. So Naruto says, let go of my arm. That's where, well, Lucifer looks at Naruto with a curious look and says, tell me, boy. Why were you adopted into the Joshin clan when your emotions seem to be a little bit more stable than normal Joshins or normal Joshin cultists? That's where Naruto just say, I don't know. Ask him yourself. I would, but I'm not trying to get on the bad side of Joshin. Joshin seems to be an angry person. How about this, kid? We should talk in my kingdom. Not in this kingdom close to, well, the Joshin kingdom. Mostly the Joshin family. Naruto say, why are you so worried? Who are you anyway? Hmm? Me? Oh. I am Lucifer. Lucifer. Morningstar. That's where Naruto say, Morningstar? Wait. That's where he looks at, well, Luna. And Luna is named Nightstar, last name. Naruto then looks at Morningstar. That's where, well, Lucifer Morningstar. Lucifer says, oh, you just realized something. Yes, Luna is, well, my kind of niece. This is where, well, Luna kind of looks at Lucifer and says, hello there. This is where, well, Lucifer smiles. This is where, well, he then just snaps his fingers and, of course, they appear in the kingdom. Of course, the word Naruto cannot sense the other forbidden clan members because they were close to him. But now he doesn't know where he's at. And it's right now it's just shocked and horrified. This is where, well. He then kind of activates his lightning just in case he has a fight against this person. He knows he won't be able to win because he never managed to beat his father named, well, Joshin. So, of course, fighting him would be impossible. He's going to have to alert Joshin somehow towards his location. This is where, well, Lucifer, you can say, you can try all you want to try to alert Joshin. He won't be coming here for a while. So, let's just talk. Why won't we? This is where, well, Luna says, what do you want to talk about? No, not you. Lucifer kind of, like, ignores Luna's question. He points at Naruto. I want to know everything. Everything about your life, exactly. Naruto says, uh, um, I'm human? This is where, well, Lucifer says, oh, I already know that. Half the children that are adopted into the uh, Joshua family are human. Sorry, you knew that. I have to know. <laughs> now, half of the children in the Joshua family do kind of become demonic after a while. Mostly staying in the underworld for two years, but yeah. So I already know that you're half demon and half human. So you don't need to explain that. I want to know about your lightning infinity. Your lightning seems to be a very high potent uh, type of yours. Very strong. It kind of reminds me of some kind of gods that used to use lightning. So tell me, kid. Why is yours so strong? Naruto says, oh, 
Mm, uh, mm, uh, mm -hmm. uh, because I was born like this. This is where, oh, morning star says, I'm guessing that you don't know about your family. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Your lightning is so strong that it actually are rivals those who are actually gods in this world. <laughs> and that one lightning that I can sense from you is a thin amount, but still so powerful. <laughs> what an interesting type of kid you are. Is where Lucy appears saying, Father? Mother is calling you. This is where Lucifer is like, ah, oh, shit. This is where, oh, Lucy is right now in front of uh, uh, Naruto, and Naruto is looking at Lucy. Of course, this is where, well, Naruto doesn't seem to care about her, and sees Luna. Luna is right now quiet. Naruto is confused. This is where, when he looks back at the kind of girl named Lucy, Lucy is also quiet, very quiet. This is where, well, Josh, uh, well, not Joshing. Uh, Morningstar managed to come back, but of course he had lots of bumps in the head and said, Ow, Lucy, go back to your mother. She just kicked my ass. Uh, this is where, well, before Lucy can actually leave the room, the door smashes through, and of course, what comes out is, well, Sylvan. Sylvan says, I should have known that you bastard would try to take my brother away. This is where, well, Lucifer says, interesting, you must be Sylvan, the oldest son of, well, Joshing. Tell me, boy, why are you this strong? A train like hell, you wouldn't know because, well, you never trained one single uh, time in your life. That's so what, well, the, uh, well, Lucifer says, interesting, very interesting. <laughs> well, let's see who's stronger than Sylvan Joshing. Me? Or you. But this is where I'm going to leave it off. For part 6 of this what if. Uh, part 7 will be whenever. But of course I am feeling kind of tired. So good night. Bye bye. And potato. But yeah.